I welcome all of you. This is uh, the 10th meeting of the Board of Directors of uh, Jannat Pakistan. And uh, we have made uh, great achievements in uh, these uh, years since we incorporated ourselves in uh, 2013. So in these four years or so, we have done a lot of achievements. Uh, thank you all of you for coming over here. Um, the venue of the meeting for purposes of record, I am uh, announcing it is at the Zyker Restaurant uh, Indian Cuisine on Ming Avenue in Bakersfield. Um, the following directors <coughs> constituting a quorum of the board are uh, considered as present. Um, Dr. Asr Islam Sayyid, myself, Dr. Mona Dawar, General Secretary and Treasurer, Jannat Pakistan, Ms. Uh, Javinder Tind, Director, uh, Mr. Umar Khatak, Director, uh, Ms. Uh, Abida Alam, Director, Dr. Manjeet Kaura, and uh, our uh, Vice President and Director, Mr. Aslam Bhatti. Thank you all of you for coming. Um, the following directors uh, are uh, noted to be absent and uh, they were informed of the proceeding of the meeting but uh, one of them, uh, Mr. Shajar Abbas Khan, uh, he is in Ireland and he's not uh, available, he could not attend. Um, the meeting begins now. It is like around uh, 8 p.m. and uh, we've had a brief period of socialization with each other and dinner. Um, meeting of board members with uh, one another, planning the Urdu Batak and all that. Um, at present, I am calling this meeting to order and I am presiding over this meeting. Uh, Dr. Mona Dewar, the secretary, uh, will be recording the minutes. Now, first of all, announcements. Number one, due to concerns over uh, several traumatic events in Pakistan, including which most of you do not know, the seizing of the office of Jannat Pakistan by Islamic militants uh, in Lahore. The details of this, uh, you know, I will uh, inform you. Um, anyhow, what I want to announce is we have had to temporarily suspend our activities, uh, particularly Urdu Batak and other activities because of what was going on and the stress that we were undergoing uh, about that. Um, the meeting begins now by myself announcing to all board members um, with uh, deep sorrow that uh, our uh, board member and uh, president of Urdu Batak, uh, Mr. Azir Shaheen, he has expressed some personal uh, issues and uh, has decided to resign from the position of uh, the director of Jannat Pakistan. Uh, he has also chosen to resign from uh, the position of Urdu Batak. Um, we board members formally acknowledge the wonderful services rendered by Mr. Azir Shaheen. Uh, his resignation is uh, considered as accepted uh, from date Thursday, May 11th. Um, Interestingly, uh, just a day before we filed the tax returns uh, to IRS in which his name was mentioned as one of the directors. Uh, so we are now going to send an updated uh, information to IRS uh, regarding the board directors. Um, resolved that we honor and acknowledge the devotion and voluntary services of Mr. Azar Shaheen for Urdu Batak and for Jannat Pakistan. <laughs> now, I'll apprise you of the activities of the corporation. <clears throat> I want to present before the board the status of the program services of Jannat Pakistan. Let's begin by acknowledging once again that Jannat Pakistan has a very difficult task for itself to educate and enlighten people of Pakistan and India and drawing them into overcoming bigotry and hatred and bringing them together towards brotherhood and unification. We have had, we have had several great achievements in, in the past, particularly through Urdu Betak and we have been very successful in propagating the brotherhood of man, in propagating the light of reason, 
And in this process, also we've had several setbacks. As you are all on Facebook, <clears throat> you know that uh, the missionary work of uh, Jannat Pakistan, we have been utilizing uh, Jannat Manzil, which is a newly constructed building in King Edward Medical College Doctors uh, Colony in Lahore, which is owned by Naila Sayyid and myself. And uh, this was uh, being used by us as a formal base and headquarters for our mission. In this building, our fiduciary in Lahore, Mr. Abid Bilal had hired the services of some staff to run the mission. Um, in this office uh, where we used to store pamphlets and brochures and <coughs> literature and DVDs and all sorts of things. Also, this office uh, served as a venue for <coughs> occasional, I would say fortnightly or weekly meetings anybody interested to meet uh, what Janath Pakistan was doing, they would come over there. We had purchased some laptops, some cameras, and some other electronic stuff. Uh, as you are aware, terrorist militants organizations, they had been keeping a watchful eye on our activities. Uh, around November of last year, we were told that some militants had taken over our premises uh, Mr. Rashid Yusufzai, who had been hired by Mr. Abid Bilal and myself through contact over the phone and interview, um, he uh, uh, was working uh, under a contract for us and uh, he did post on Facebook uh, pictures of occupancy of uh, our uh, premises by the militants uh, holding guns. Now, this occupancy and uh, standoff lasted for well over one month, almost two months, which is why I was so quiet and uh, did not know what to do. Uh, I received messages on WhatsApp and uh, Mr. Rashid Yusufzai, uh, he told me that some people from the Kabza group, they were also being hired to take over this building which comes from Nyla and mine hard-earned uh, you know, money. And uh, this, uh, knowing that the government of Pakistan was unable to control uh, uh, these elements, we resorted to contacting uh, various political sources. It was to no avail. Uh, we called for help with some of the military generals whom I know. Uh, it was truly of no avail. We called uh, for police and uh, my sister eventually finally around uh, a certain date, 1st of February, my sister Mehnaz, uh, whom I pay glowing tributes for her bravery, she hired some men from our villages. And uh, we hired them, they were about uh, people in uh, 15 or 16 cars, and we hired and paid them to be present over there. And through this, we were able to use uh, a welder who broke all the locks and we were able to break in, set up new locks, and uh, weld the doors and uh, take charge of the premises. However, one of, uh, yes, thank you, thank you. That was, that was great, and uh, I applaud uh, Mahnaz for uh, being the bold, bold uh, uh, girl to go and do that. Uh, <clears throat> I want to apprise this board of some losses. Two laptops, three cell phones, printers, audio system, a large television screen, all of that has been removed and taken away by the militants or sold. Um, there are other things also. Um, we have a list of what was there and what is not there anymore. Mr. Abid Bilal had purchased these items from the funds of Jannat Pakistan for program services. So these are some losses which we have told our CPA about. Currently, a new paid uh, contractor for our organization, Mr. Ilyas Khamosh, he's very active and he is working, but he lives in Bannu and is very safe. Uh, he is acting as our local agent for our missionary work. The office of Jannat Pakistan in Lahore has, we had to close that office temporarily, uh, but uh, the office has now been recovered and is ready to be functioning again. So that is great. Um, anybody wants to ask any questions about uh, these events, I'm willing to answer those. 
Resolved that the board acknowledges the loss of the items, approves such financial losses are understandable because of our work and the nature of our work and the hazard that we run. And, uh, but the good thing is that we are going to continue with our mission. Um, updates on Shalimar Radio, Los Angeles. Due to concerns regarding several traumatic events in Pakistan, um, there has been, these were events, sources of personal trauma for me, uh, the death of Mishal Khan, uh, and uh, how brutally he was killed. And uh, so, this death plus some other losses, they were extremely painful and they affected me very much. Uh, because of that, there has been delay on my part to pursue with GoDaddy, the website designers. Uh, they are building the website and we will soon have our own active radio server that is in, in the works. <coughs> uh, resolved that the board acknowledges. If there are any differences, please let me know that the delay in the establishment of Shalimar Internet Radio, as promised in my last meeting, this was uh, um, understandable by all of you that I yes. could not pursue that. Absolutely. <coughs> um, regarding Shalimar Radio, <coughs> radio and television announcer, the process of hiring a full-time radio announcer is on the way. Mr. George Hudson, um, uh, who is a New York-based uh, attorney is working on the hiring of a suitable person. Um, Jannat Pakistan has filed with California Employment Development uh, Department and we have received an EDD number to hire a competent radio announcer from Pakistan. Uh, he has uh, received uh, uh, the prevailing wage determination from the Labor Department and has started the recruitment process with advertisements. So we are working on that. Um, <clears throat> documents for the job description for hiring this uh, <coughs> radio and television announcer, they are over here. I want you all, all of you to um, go through those uh, documents too. Resolve that the board acknowledges that there's a need for a radio announcer and Shalimar Radio, um, uh, for Shalimar Radio, and we approve the salary as determined by the um, employment board that the salary is going to be thirty-six thousand and uh, uh, thirty-six thousand forty-six dollars per year. Hopefully, once the radio is in full swing, we will be able to generate a lot of revenue from uh, from advertisements. Um, resolved. More about Urdu Betak. The last Urdu Betak was held at Zaika restaurant, this very place, on 15th of October. We have thus far organized and conducted 11 Urdu Betak programs, the first being held on 31st of May 2014. We plan to hold the next Urdu Betak shortly, and uh, we plan to have this Urdu Betak on uh, Hazrat Baba Guru Nanak Ji. So this will be um, coming and a date will be announced. Um, I want to announce also that uh, Ms. Elia Haris Zar has kindly accepted to be the next president of Urdu Betak. Oh, very good. <laughs> <That's excellent. laughs> um, resolved amongst us that Jannat Pakistan deeply acknowledges with thanks the services of Elia Haris Zar for Urdu Betak and approves her appointment as president of Urdu Betak. Resolved that uh, Jannat Pakistan deeply acknowledges with thanks the services of Dr. Manjeet Kaur, Ms. Elia Zar, Mrs. Firdaus Bhatti, Mrs. Salma Shaheen, Ms. Imtiaz Fatima Ali, Mrs. Ifat Khan, Mrs. Mona Maksud, Dr. Sudha Reddy, Mr. Omar Saleem, Mr. Omar Hayat, and Dr. Naila Sayed, and Dr. Mona Dwar for their cordiality and hospitality in uh, uh, conducting these uh, Urdu Batak programs. We truly appreciate that. Thank you.
You have enthusiastically delivered your services and these services have truly enlightened thousands of Pakistanis. Um, activities of Jannat Pakistan and the use of funds, I'm going to ask our uh, General Secretary, Dr. Uh, Mona Dawar, who's also the treasurer, to present uh, the activities and use of funds. The General Secretary, okay. It was announced that the beginning balance in the main bank account of Jannat Pakistan with Bank of America on 1st January 2017 was $90,346.89. The current balance in the operational account of Jannat Pakistan on May 18, 2017 today is $64,259. Total expenditure for the year 2017, January 1st, 2017, to May 18, 2017, for program services, program management, fundraising, and ideology propagation activities in Pakistan and worldwide, so far has been $26,087.89. Major expenditures this year for Wasco, California have been similar to all previous years. Expenditures in USA involve ideology propagation on Facebook, social media, purchase of Canon cameras, setting up of light fixtures for the shed of at Wasco, and other arrangements for community activities of Jannat Pakistan in Wasco, California. Major expenditures this year from Lahore, Pakistan have been the recovery cost of Manzil Jannat Pakistan in Lahore, as in previous years, presently there is a contractor staff working for the protection of the premises of the mission. The monthly budget for that is variable and is around $2,000 per month. Contractors in Pakistan are paid within this budget and include four qualified secretaries, a professional singer DJ, two custodians or two chokidars. Dr. Asru Salam gave details of this expenditure, resolved. Those, that, the details of all that expenditure is right here amongst, uh, before us. Go ahead, please. <clears throat> Fundraising and ideology propagation activities in no, Pakistan. No, no, we resolved that. Uh, we resolved resolve that, that the expenditure oh, yeah. for okay. the program okay. services, program management, okay. fundraising and ideology propagation okay. in Pakistan and worldwide yes. is in accordance to, with the mission of Jannat right. Pakistan. Taxes for this year were duly prepared and filed by May 10th, 2017. Again this year as in the previous year by Albert and Associates LLP certified public accountants mm -hmm. at Wasco. They are yet to be paid for their services. Resolved that the services of Albert and Associates are highly commendable and payment approved by the board. A professional bookkeeper, Ms. Ann Yuan of QuickBooks Pro, continues to maintain and balance the account books of the corporation yearly. She was reimbursed $600 for the entire year's bookkeeping services. So we just paid her $600 for the entire year's That's bookkeeping wonderful. service. That's very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Resolve that the services of Ms. Ann Yuan are highly commendable and approved by the board. Presented before the board for review, per usual and discussion are profit and loss statements dated May 9, 2017 as prepared by Ms. Ann Yuan. So these are profit and loss statements and I will circulate those and you could uh, ha you have access to those. Um, these are available for your perusal and this is the document uh, prepared by Mr. George Hudson to hire uh, our uh, uh, radio announcer. Radio oh. announcer. Should I continue? Yeah, please. Mm. I, uh, I, Dr. Mona Dwar, have presented above account sheets and summary of expenses to the directors of Jannat Pakistan. These documents That's were duly shared with all the directors of present. Presented, Pre presented before, before the board for review and perusal and discussion are transaction details by account. 43 pages dated May 9, 2017, as prepared by Ms. Anwan. So, so these are, you have all the documents of all the accounts, all our expenditure, whatever we have used, particularly just for the, and exclusively for the program services. Okay. 
Resolved that expenses were reviewed and approved by the board members and a copy kept by the treasurer. The treasurer was directed by CEO and board members to ensure that a copy of these were kept at the corporation's principal office. Upon motion duly made and seconded, it was unanimously resolved that the funds of this corporation had been used in accordance with the religious mission of the corporation. Resolved that the board of directors unanimously approves and applauds the missionary work being done by Jannah Pakistan. Resolved that board meetings shall be held twice yearly. The next board meeting shall be held in December of 2017, yeah. since there was no further business to come before the meeting on motion duly made and seconded the meeting is going to be adjourned. <laughs> हम देखेंगे लाज़िम है कि हम ही देखेंगे हम देखेंगे हम देखेंगे लाज़िम है कि हम ही देखेंगे हम देखेंगे वो दिन के जिसका वादा है हम देखेंगे जो लाओ है अजल पे लिखा है हम देखेंगे हम देखेंगे लाज़िम है कि हम ही देखेंगे हम देखेंगे जब जुल्मो से तम के कोह गिरां जब जुल्मो से तम के कोह गिरां रोए की तरह उड़ जाएंगे हम महकूमो के पांव तले हम महकूमो के तले ये धरते धड़ 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 के गी ये धरते धड़ 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 के गी और अहले हकम के सरों पर जब बिजली कड़ 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 के गी हम कि हम ही देखेंगे हम देखेंगे जब अर्ज़े खुदा के काबे से जब अर्ज़े खुदा के काबे से सब बुत उठवाए जाएंगे हम अहले सफा मरदूद हरम हम अहले सफा मरदूद हरम मसनिद पे बिठाए जाएंगे मसनिद पे बिठाए जाएंगे सब ताज उछाले जाएंगे सब तख्त गिराए जाएंगे हम देखेंगे हम देखेंगे लाज़िम है कि हम ही देखेंगे हम देखेंगे बस 
नाम रहेगा अल्लाह का बस नाम रहेगा अल्लाह का जो गायब भी है हाजिर भी जो गायब भी है हाजिर भी जो मंजर भी है नाजिर भी जो मंजर भी है नाजिर भी उठेगा अनल हक का नारा जो मैं भी हूँ और तुम भी हो और राज करेगी खल के खुदा जो मैं भी हूँ और तुम भी हो हम देखेंगे हम देखेंगे लाजिम है कि हम भी देखेंगे हम देखेंगे वो दिन के जिसका वादा है हम देखेंगे जो कि हम भी देखेंगे हम देखेंगे हम देखेंगे हम